Hey guys, welcome back to Get Real with J Reacts. Today we are going to watch the animated, Netflix animated original show, Terminator Zero, episode 3. And episode 4. Ooh, got a container. There she is. Wait, no, is that the Terminator? Yeah. Yeah. That's right, because there was the accident on the bridge. I, for I forgot, it's been a week since I watched episode 1 and 2. Clothing, of course. I never have to worry about that because nobody is shaped as weirdly as I am. Comment below if you have a funny shape as well. Oh, damn. Hey! Whoa! Wait a minute! Are you connected with those protesters? Yeah, he's protesting. Sir, you right. can't be here. Hey, asshole! Are you deaf? I'm gonna have the cops in your ass if you don't get the hell out of here. I thought they were the cops. Apparently, they're just security. It's funny he would pick the lock because so he just ripped the door off. Low profile, I guess. Additional targets. It's not good. Chipset, serial numbers of the threat, pursuit in progress. You sure they're down here? Oh, that's right. It's weird how much I've forgotten like a week. She has a deep fear of taking public transportation. Ah. <gasps> oh. I'm all right. You are not all right. Wait here, I'll be right back. I promise I won't be lo- ah. mm -hmm. Then you ain't going nowhere. Is this really necessary? Just get it done so we can keep going. <sighs> You're not gonna throw up on me, are you? She sees something. <laughs> what does she see? The scar and insignia. Looks like you've done this before. Me, no. So tell me, what about you? You wouldn't believe me if I told you. Try me, you might be surprised. Yeah, but she obviously knows something's going on because she's been spooked from the first episode. He thinks this AI he built is going to save the world. Well, yes. He says it's for the benefit of humanity. For the benefit of humanity, please. He's building another machine that's going to get us all killed. Maybe not. Thinking about maybe she knows something. Doesn't, doesn't seem like it. You people have no idea what's coming. What does she think she's going to find at a gun shop in Japan? Two years ago, there was an incident on the subway. Okay, here we go. It was horrible. The perpetrators didn't need guns. Ever since that awful day, we've all been suspicious and lived in fear of each other. There's worse things out there and they're all coming for those kids. The end of the world comes tomorrow. Now he ran. So he, he ran to this office? I've had these dreams for as long as I can remember. Tell me what do you see? A graveyard. Bodies rot down to the skeleton. No one is left to bury them. Stepping foot on their soil would kill you in an instant. It's a generous word for the you existence have to live underground of those in that left world. alive. People are forced to eat each other to survive, with no hope of a better future. It's a holocaust. Holocaust. Holos meaning whole, and kaustos, which literally translates to the burnt. Hmm. I didn't know burnt that. Burnt to nothing. After tomorrow, none of us are living. If you knew you had a day left to live, what would you do? I don't know what I would do. I can't help but feel like you're not telling me everything, Malcolm. I'm not. I'm afraid that take if over you knew everything, slave that humanity. you would turn against exactly. us. What makes you believe that humanity is worth saving? <sighs> but what if... I could show you that we can change. I could prove to you that we could be more. If I could prove it to you beyond a doubt that we could be better, would you save us? How would she save you, though? I'm getting bad vibes from this AI of his. It's time to unplug it, bro. Unplug it, give up your life's work, and do something different. If you're smart enough to put that together, you're probably smart enough to make anything. Back to the kids. System set up. Step one, select time right. zone. Current what do you say we fix that date. voice box? Yeah, it sounds terrible. Can we go home now? I'm going to Cat Town. Today is August 30th, hero. 
mom's anniversary death. Do you remember how dad didn't even take us last year? Or even the year before that? Koneko! <gasps> oh. Koneko just short circuited. Oh, red's never good. Go and find Kenta, hurry! Uh, yeah, yeah. Not the old dial up internet. Ooh, I wonder if she's being called by the Terminator. My essential system setup process. Hello, what is your name? Kenta. Meaning healthy, strong, or a child of great wisdom. My son's getting ready to have his first daughter. They don't any names, maybe Kenta. Kenta, Kent, but that's not like a boy's doing name. Down here? We marched down here four months ago. You all marched So the together? modem sound obviously makes even more sense now, 97, 98. Was to march here by ourselves. Through the means of a shared neurofiber satellite wave network, we are able to receive and respond to universal commands simultaneously. How does that work? Kento! Cool and dangerous. Kento, come quick! Where are you going? No! Stop! It's crazy the relationship that she has Where with this you? cat that she has only owned for like 30 minutes. What's going on? And it's a robot too. That was creepy. No, 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 can oh, I snap. Wait? <gasps> That's not good. Well, it's a dangerous place to be, especially for a little girl. That's a creepy you looking dude, lost. too, man. Why don't we get out of here? Come on. <laughs> yep, girl, you better go. I wonder if that cat's gonna be like her guardian, kind of like the dogs are in the Terminator movies. She got out of there quick. Rika! He could totally see her through that claw. Rika! Oh, hell no. Go with him! Let me go! Help! Help! I gonna say they gotta be there any second now. Oh, Y'all better run. Hey! Eat this! Alright. It's gonna burn off. You can see this. The T, whatever they are, 850, or whatever this model is. I can give you 90 cool. seconds. Run! Threat level low. Oop. <gasps> At least she's used to fighting these damn things. She's quick as hell. What is she hitting him with? Oh, that's. Uh, he's not gonna kill her, he's just neutralizing her. Kent has been hurt. You too. So she's kinda like Kyle Reese where he, she goes back to save, but she don't like Kyle wasn't. He was just some dude. This girl can fight, but other than that, she needs some sort of enhancements or something. Of course. Of course. Get out of here. But I I've got her. Right could be freezing up too much, man. Crossbow time. Ooh. You gotta be strong as hell to take a hit from the Terminator like that. Good deal. You can stay and die, or you can come with me. Come with me if you want to live. Is that there it is. Terminator? How do you. It was, wasn't it? Yeah, how do you know, little right? Yes, that was a Terminator. All right then. So Rika knows something. You're bleeding. Yeah, I know. Where are we going? To see your dad. Uh-oh. 5-0. -oh. 
Good. Just stay where you are, please, and let's see some ID. Is that a gun? Hands in the air! <laughs> Requesting backup. <laughs> Down on your knees! Oh, boy. Don't move! <laughs> ah! Ah! Time to go. Let's go. Oh, I forgot to look up the guns with the little cords on them. Wait, Ryan could be freezing up too much for me. Uh oh, there it is. Better throw it in reverse. Come on, come on, put your seatbelt on. Let's go, fucker. There you go. I thought she was going to tort it, and I'm like, no, girl, go the other way. Oh, there goes more ride. Oh, of course, the motorcycle. Oh, I thought they were going to show him Jack of the Motorcycle. He's got to take it, right? So, Rika obviously knows what a Terminator is somehow, so her dad must have told her one day these robots are going to come and they're going to skedaddle, they're going to destroy everything, and we're going to get skedaddle out of town. So, obviously, that's what that is. I'm guessing the show is picking up a little bit. I feel like maybe starting episode four through the end of the series, it's going to be non stop heart pumping action. Probably going to lose some people, but I'm excited to see what happens on episode four. So, let's go check it out. Where are you taking me? To your father, the only one who can stop this. <laughs> so I figured that the Terminator would fight with that motorcycle cop. Did you guys just see that? So this is automatic transmission, but she just shifted it like it was a... Manual. If we can't get to Malcolm, we're all dead. To Excuse me, Captain. There's a woman here who claims to have witnessed what happened today. Units are in pursuit of a vehicle. They think the driver is one of the shooters. One of the shooters? My name is Detective Fujita. Oh, and they just go to Malcolm. This is Detective Shiraki. We hear you are at the bridge tonight. Uh, oh, there was a shooter on the bridge. So what happened there? Yeah. It's okay. I can see you're upset. Why don't we go to one of our interview rooms? But are we safe here? No. There's nowhere safer. Oh, so he did commandeer a motorcycle. Yep. And then there was, then a, there was a, a tap. That's pretty gross, even though it's just animation. <laughs> did you ever try to escape from the woman on the bridge, the one who you say attacked you? I couldn't get did away. she attack you? Have you been able to reach Mr. Lee yet? No, not yet. He hasn't tried. Well, we just sent a unit. Any idea what she might be after? The woman. What about the guy? She shot the man. Are you saying that this man who attacked you was the same man from the bridge? Mm-hmm. And you're saying that she killed him? But he just shrugged it off as if it was nothing. He isn't human. Are you telling me it was an Eno? No, not the Eno robots, man. Not the basic-ass robots. I think he killed her. Hmm. He's like, this one was nutty. Whatever it is, it's after Mr. Lee. You have to send everyone! It's going to kill them all! I guess he is sending everyone. Oh no, it's her. Take this. Light it! Ah, uh, she's teaching her how to make a Molotov cocktail. How old is this girl right now? So that's a hell of a lot of cop cars. You think the detectives would hit the dispatch and they would know exactly what's going on? But it seems like you have the detectives over here and the regular police over here. Is that how it works? Sir, they're all over the scanners. Dude, those aren't spike strips. Those are spike fence. <laughs> she seems like she's the main character from the future, but I don't know how long she's going to last. I need you to call your father now. You guys okay? Did you talk to our dad yet? Not yet. I wanted to ask you guys about Miss Misaki. Is she nuts? She's not your mother. Is she some kind of relative? She lives with us and just helps out around the house while dad's working and stuff. She's like our nanny. Do you know where she came from or where your father found her and hired her? Interesting question. Was it through an agency? That's a weird line of questioning. Maybe because she's saying a bunch of silly, crazy stuff. Tell me something. Have you two noticed anything... Strange about her? Well, she has purple eyes. 
Have you finally found Mr. Lee? Or Rika? While we wait, I asked my partner to pull your information. Maybe she doesn't know who she is. Your files were a little unusual. And what did you Maybe find? Maybe she's a Terminator. Doesn't realize it. We didn't find a goddamn anything. <gasps> what does that mean? You mean she has a clean record? You're a ghost, lady. No employment records, education records. You've never even paid taxes. Maybe that's why Mr. Lee was so hard on her, because she's a piece of property. This is a very serious situation. She must be an experiment. Who the hell are you? The plot thickens. That cop's about to tear up the damn police station. Those idiots Special really assaulting. think we can't handle this situation. Oh! Ah! Yep. It's him. I know it's him. <laughs> How did the Terminator miss the kids? Doesn't he scan everything he looks at? Yo, that dude tore up the whole damn police department. Where does he get his little, I guess his giant nails from? They just body just generates them? <laughs> yep. Bye bye, detective. Oh, bye bye, lead detective. <laughs> Sweep the leg. Good job, girl. Get the scanner yet. Oh. Maybe I'll snap the radius in and hold on. Right, she's a freaking robot. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Synthetic limb response for a modified human android robot. Threat level high. Okay. Interesting. Kind of explained a little bit. Dude, you want to get squished like a bug? Oh man. Yep. So you're a robot? No, I'm not. You know that, you you know that it's still a car, though. Too? Exactly. How do you know it? I'm just as confused as you two are. I don't know what's how, going on. How about we get in the why? car and talk about it later? We have a Jason Bourne incident here. Didn't know who she is. All of a sudden, under duress, she realizes she's a complete badass. Yeah, it's me again. The cops won't leave without speaking to him. They can't come in without a warrant, and they know it. What is it this time? I told you. <gasps> yeah, we better go in the situation room. Your daughter. She says she's in trouble. We're quite sure it's her. <clears throat> And this dude is like unhealthily obsessed. He's annoyingly right obsessed She's with She's going job. to have to do this on her own. What? Is this what you wanted to show me? How you display humanity's potential for good by abandoning your daughter. Right. It's a part of the plan. So he knows that she's going to have to learn to survive, maybe? I need more time. Nothing. Try again. There better be a character arc for Malcolm, man. He's not winning any Father of the Year awards. You called him a Terminator. How do you know that word? Sometimes my dad talks in his sleep and Terminator is one of the words he screams. He said that it's a cyborg, kind of like an Eno, and that in the future, they'll hunt people down and kill them. But where does that come from? Right. How could he know that? Yeah, it's not going to be too hard to find them holding on a full-fledged conversation. Oh, let's cut the lines. The phone is dead. It's not a good situation for her. For them. Damn, yeah, they got Rika all tied up too. It's starting. Mira, mira, tormenta. He said a storm is coming. All right, they're the Americans. So it begins. 
Oh wait, the Skynet, not the missiles. My, my head was in nuclear war mode. Oh boy. What do you think that's all about? Like, how could she not know, or how come she didn't tell us? It didn't seem like he'd be hard to find if they knew to look for him. It's happened. How much time do we have before the missiles hit us? A few minutes, perhaps. Well, there are missiles. It would be necessary for you to bring me online. What would you do? I would be given access to the same data Skynet has. I could see the same data that caused you to this conclude AI. that your species had to be exterminated. Hmm. I don't like that proposition. It's a question of fate. Skynet. The war, the nightmares. So he must be living this shit over and over and over and over and over. Alright. If that's true, then that means you are the proof. Turn this chick online. This three-headed Hydra woman. There is no fate. Peter's not yet written. There she is. It's done now. I mean, like, it kind of doesn't matter because they launched Skynet already. And the Terminators are there. I assume he knows that. Wow. Alright, so that's the end of episode four. And at the end of episode three, I said... All right, so they're going to finally start uh, picking up, and we're going to have a lot more violent and a lot less boring conversation. I wouldn't say boring. It's just very um, it's very cerebral, which is good. Uh, but with these beautiful graphics and things, I just want to see more of the crazy action and chase scenes. Uh, but there's a lot of mysteries, all right? So the lady who's part robot, you know, what's her history and how is she there? So he must have made her. She's the next evolution of the Inos. The next evolution. Maybe she's just number one of one, but she's got a skill set. You can tell she's got a dark side. It's just maybe waiting to be turned on or triggered. And maybe now it's turned on. You know, what's up with Rika? What's her fate? Because now she's under police custody, I guess. Protective custody. But she still has yet to be reunited with her brothers. And, of course, uh, our mystery lady from the future. So we have Masaki and Eiko. What's Masaki's past? We're going to find that out. She's been activated now. So she's going to be a badass moving forward, I think. And then Aiko, how's she going to get out of police custody? Is she going to do something clever or is she going to get rescued? All questions that have yet to be answered. But this is just four episodes. I can't wait to see what happens in episode five, six, and beyond. So we'll find out. 